All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Mills on the rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect brothers out there pushing this truth with all diligence and sincerity, risking your freedoms and your lives to do so. Um, brother Lahab, got the brother. Uh, Marat Zakia. And uh, Mariala. And uh, just going into, uh, in light of things, uh, recent events, you got people breaking into stores and a lot of petty crimes going on. And uh, unemployment is at, at its highest rate, man. Yeah, it hit to like 26 million. Um, since this COVID-19 uh, situation happened, uh, 26 uh, million Americans have filed for unemployment. So we know that hey, if, when there's lack of, you know, uh, money, you know, lack of uh, resources, what happens? Crime will skyrocket, you know, because, you, you know, we've been saying this, you know, for some time now. You're about to see more, you know, um, home invasions, uh, burglaries, all right, robberies, you know, things like that. As the brother said, you know, right now they're starting with... You know petty crimes you know robbing stores things like that but eventually it's gonna actually um hit you, you know people's like their homes are gonna get you know um you know raided basically all right there's gonna be a sky you know a rise in prostitution kidnappings all right things are gonna increase man okay yeah i got the scripture this uh proverbs 29 and 18 it says where there is no vision the people perish but happy is he that keep of socket but he that keep of the law I'm happy as he and you got to think about that man because uh um, esau's vision is already for the world to perish you know what i mean hey the scriptures say in the gospel basically the lord don't come back you know shorten that time that no flesh shall be saved so esau's vision is hey to really implement that chip and do away with the dollar man these people's vision out here that you know they just going to, they just they just got nothing they got a little hope left that the economy is going to bounce back and all that Hey, but the scripture says, but he that keep up the law, happy is he. These people don't keep the law, man. And they're not looking for the coming of Yahweh Shai, man. They're not looking for the for our kingdom to be built. When I say these people, I mean our people, the Israelites, the Natives, Americans, Latinos, and um, uh, so-called uh, American Indians. But we're looking for that kingdom. These people aren't looking for they're, they're trying to keep this kingdom going, man. And this place is already set to perish. And this is basically what you see, man. It's... it's it's, hit, it's, it's about to hit its pinnacle, and then the Lord's about to come take it down, man. Yeah, they have no vision, man. Hey, they don't have uh, uh, any, you know, foresight. They, see, because basically Esau gave them that vision, you know. Oh, this is what you're going to do. All right, this is, you know, uh, your, um, basically this is, a, what you, this is how you play out life, you know. You basically are born, all right, you know, you go to school, you, you know, grammar schools, go to high school, you know, so on and so forth. You either go to college. You know, uh, make some, um, you know, uh, you know, get a degree, you know, you might start a business and, and, you know, you get the, you know, get a wife, have, you know, a family, you get that house. That's what Esau has, uh, uh, basically that's the, um, the American dream. Okay. And that dream is, you know, it, it's being shattered right now. So now these people, since all these negative things are happening, now they're getting desperate. That's right. All right. Now they're getting desperate because... They they have no, they have no hope, man. That's right. All right. I got a preset. This is um Second Ezra chapter fifteen. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse eighteen. It says, "For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid." All right. And that and what is that fear? The fear is not knowing what the hell they're gonna how they're gonna get to the next meal for themselves, or if they have a family, how they're gonna feed the crying baby, you know. Some people are just going to say, fuck it, and off the whole family because they don't want to go through that struggle, man. Uh, you know, before it even gets to the cannibalism stage. Some people just aren't going to have the heart to go through it. Hey, that pride. Hey, they didn't want to listen to the prophets, man. That's right. They didn't want to repent. It's like you keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result, man. Like you don't want to you don't want to look at the facts, what's right before your eyes, man. That's these people, man. They're not they're not dealing with the facts right now. You know what I mean? They're dealing with a bunch of lies and false hope. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword mm. and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yep. Hey, and these stores, man, I seen a, a can of almond butter in the store. Now, given this is a store where like certain things are marked up, but I seen a fucking uh, a, a bottle of almond butter. This had to be like maybe an eight ounce jar for $16. 
And I was just, I just started laughing at it because I'm just like, man, this is only going to last for so long. You know what I mean? These people can't afford to buy those things now. And this is technically, quote unquote, the green tree that's drying out now. You know, so how much more then what, when the real hyperinflation kicks in? You know what I mean? Or those lines start getting uh, blocks long, miles long, mile long lines. You think these people are going to be uh, out there waiting? Oh, and they, yeah. They're having a thing, too. All right. Oh. You know, they have these food banks, which I just saw a video in this particular. Uh, I forgot where it was. It was a city in Texas. They had the National Guard distributing out the food. And that's basically going into food rationing. Okay? That's what's coming next, food rationing. Right now, yeah, they're giving you a decent amount. But what's going to happen when you only get one loaf of bread and maybe a, a carton of eggs, you know, and, and you know, something, you, I'm trying to think of what else, you know, and a, a gallon of milk. Right. That, that's it. You, you have to deal with this for a week. And you've been living this decadent lifestyle. You know, in America, you got all these choices, whatever you want. You know, you can get it delivered. You can, you know, you get all type of assortments and whatnot. These people aren't ready for the, for the collapse of this, man. You Eventually, it's all, all going to lead to the chip. Yep. You know, you're going to have to have that chip in order to get anything. And you people are going to take that chip because your oppressor, your ruler, tells you to, you know, to take this because it's the, uh, it's the new way of life. You know, this is the, the way to um, function in society. And by taking that chip, now they have total control over you, and you're and you're gonna be um, new you're, you, new, uh, yeah, living slave. Yep, you're gonna be that new homeborn living slave, man. Yep. You're fucking that body. Your body's gonna become a prison, man. We're already people are waking up to the fact that now, like, because the men of the Lord have been on a a quarantine, a confinement. You know what I mean? A lockdown. We've our men of the Lord have already separated themselves. These people are now realizing, like. They, that, that, that choice is that line is being drawn like now they're going to be they're going to force to be wake up man they're going to force to separate themselves in a sense yeah a lot of these people have been making memes saying that basically they're uh they're in prison like you know they're in conf confinement that their home is their like uh that that's their cell man <laughs> what they said it says like uh on, on one minute it was like uh, it's like we're all in prison except for that one prison like good fellas when you get to cooking stuff uh, yeah and that's pretty much how it is I had one this uh hold up real quick Oh, this, uh... Hold on one second. Uh, let me let me know you're ready. Yeah, we're, we're good. It's you know, this way. Uh, it's Proverbs uh, 22 and 3. It says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself." You know, and if you're prudent, you're wise, and you see what what's about to happen before it happens. You know, you make the right choices. And then it says, "Uh, but the simple pass on and are punished." And that's these people, man. They're simple. They don't they don't heed to the prophets. You know, not the good type of simple, man. Like extremely stupid. You know, they don't heed to the prophets. They didn't. You know, they. In, of course, for you know, forget the rest of the world. When I say the people, I mean our people, man. Our people, you know, they don't they don't take reproof. They don't heed to the prophets. You know, they don't think anything's gonna happen, man. You know, they don't they don't even uh they don't even consider like, you know, what if what they don't even say what if. You know, they don't even they don't even have a what if in their mind. What if this doesn't go back to normal? You know, this this is a new norm. It says, um let me see if it's more though. <sighs> no, nah, that, that that's it on this one, but yeah. Th this is the new norm, man. And it's only gonna get drastically worse. You know, this this crime's gonna pick up. You know, Esau's, um, what does the scripture say? He accomplished that diligent search. You know, I was making a joke with the brothers. Like, when this guy opens the city back up, or, you know, opens the states up, that's where I'm going to just stay in the house more, man. Because Esau, ha Esau has a plan, man. He's going to bring in that order out of chaos. He's going to give you all some of your little freedoms back. And then, well, he's probably actually going to make more of you all sick in the process. Yeah, they're already talking about, um, like, uh, the one brother, he works at a particular place. And they said that, and this is um, a university, and they were saying that in a particular uh, section of this said university, that if the only way for them to come back to work is if they're vaccinated, you know, and we know those vaccines, they have all sorts of, uh, you know, uh, chemicals that, uh, that are uh, negative for the body. Maybe it has the virus, maybe it doesn't. Point being, though, is there's, a lot of people are going to uh, uh, fall ill. Okay, by taking these these vaccines, 
mm-hmm. you know? And who knows, like as the brother said, who knows what they're going to you know, be doing, man? Who knows what they're going to be pushing? We just know that this guy has got an agenda, and that's to get, you know, this, you know, martial law, law you know, uh, in place, okay? Oh, and that's another thing, too. They want chaos to um, occur, so they have the justification in implementing martial law, mm-hmm. okay? And they, they, they want that because ultimately they want to round you people up so they can slaughter you because they only want around 500 million people, you know, on this planet. They don't want, um, you know, this, you know, a high number anymore. A easily controlled population. Say it again. No, nah, easily controlled population, you know, and, and a population of 500 million that all have the chip, you know, where they can see where you're going. They can see what you see, control what you do, you know. Like how you watch the um, like certain movies. What was it? A uh, bullet to the head. Something with Vin Diesel. I forgot the name of it. I did something like that. Then you got the other movie that came out that had a uh, that had a uh, it was it was a rip off of um the Fast and the Furious and it had the Rock and it had um uh Hobbs Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, it had Idris, yeah Hobbs and Shaw that and it had uh, Idris Elba and he was being remotely controlled and that's pretty much what Esau wants to do. Yeah, he'll give you the all the perks and the spiritual power. Yeah, he like that's that's what he's trying to achieve and get to. And he wants to be God over all of it and controlling you and seeing through your eyes, man. They even showed that on the on the uh, the movie Alita, man. Esau don't just put this crap in movies. He he shows you what he wants to do, man. He wants to be in control like he's the Most High. Yeah, I got a precept. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter two verse twenty four. It says, nevertheless. Through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that hold of his side do find it. So guess what? That 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 devil that is talking about is talking about Esau Edom, you know, from the beginning, you know. So if you want to follow this guy into perdition, well, guess what? You're following him into perdition, which the word perdition means destruction, man. This, 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 it says that this guy's belly enlarges itself in, in, into hell. So he's not going to stop until the Lord stops him and, and, and condemns him, man. You take that chip, guess what? It says that all things are turned into evil for sinners. So you take that chip, guess what? It's going to destroy you. Because it was meant to destroy him and everything that he stands for. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I have one. It's uh, Revelations 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye... Ye, it's like, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he know that he hath but a short time. And hey, we're in that spirit, because we we are the heavens, man. We're in that spirit of um rejoicing, man, because hey, knowing these prophecies, we know this shit of course has to get better before it's gonna get worse. But we're really almost out of this. It's gotta place, get worse man. before it gets better. So the slock, you say it one time, brother. It's got to get worse before it gets better. Brother had a slip of the tongue. Slocky, slocky. Con, it's got to get worse before it gets better, man. Hey, in this place, it's about to get worse, man. But knowing that, hey, what's coming with that, man? Of course, they're going to come with the persecutions. They're going to come with the slanders, you know. But then what comes after that, man? Yahweh Shah comes after that, you know. So seeing all these things, knowing these things, hey, we got to be in that right mindset right now, man. Because uh, with this time that we have, Hey, we're getting in that mindset of like, hey, watching, praying, you know, getting ready for this. Because these people, they're not, they're not ready, man. You know, we're we're getting ready through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Hashem, and we ultimately still have to have that spirit of Yahweh Shai with us to, to do these things. But hey, we're we're those prudent men, man. We're trying to be those wise men. We see this coming, hey, and we're getting ready, man. These people are about to be caught off guard like never before, man. Like. Oh, you guys um, want me to get some? Yeah, can you get the the the, uh, the, or the Daniel? What is it? The city um City of Confusion broken down. Yeah, the city of confusion broken down. Cause that's what's happening. The city of confusion is being broken down. See how about Shimmy Al Shai is uh, uh doing things uh uh gradually, alright? You know, one step at a time. You know, one uh brick is getting pulled out at a time, okay? And it's you know uh, things, you know, are going to get, you know, worse and worse and worse. It's only a matter of time, all right, before all hell breaks loose. And we're getting close. You can see it. We're getting to that marker now, man. I'm going to go up um, a few verses for you. This is Isaiah 24 and 8. It says, The mirth of the tabards ceaseth, mm-hmm. the noise of them that rejoice endeth. Yeah, and you're seeing that. No one's in a, you know, jolly, you know, spirit anymore. You know, no one's, you know, happy. Having a good time. 
everyone, it, it, you, you go to the stores, all right, you you know, you deal with people at work, whatever it may be, they're, they're, they're scared, okay, they're perplexed, they're nervous, they don't know what's happening, okay? God, it says the joy of the harp, in, it's like the joy of the harp ceaseth. All this, all this music is at all time low, okay? Yep. No one's even partying. We were just we were laughing about this. The the way people are partying now is, is you know these people in uh, these downtown areas, okay? You know they have all their balconies. No, they're, they're having balcony parties now, okay? People playing music, and they're all just hanging out on their balconies. Right. You know, you know, uh, bringing, you know, uh, getting drinks and just getting drunk on their balcony. And jumping. That's what's oh coming. yeah, that's what that's what's coming. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be jumping. Yeah, it's it's, it's already happening. A little bit. They're not really reporting it, but you're just about to start seeing more and more people just right, and actually hearing about, you know, suicide rates, you know, skyrocketing. People are just gonna just say, "I, I have none to live for." They're gonna do a Chris Benoit, kill their whole family, <laughs> and just smoke themselves. God, that's a lot. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in a while, Chris Benoit. So lucky. This is uh, verse nine. They shall not drink wine with a song. <laughs> Strong drinks should be better than them to drink it. Yep. You see that, man. These people are, hey, they're not drinking out of uh, the joy of the drink. You know what I mean? They hey, celebrating and all that. They're drinking to, to to get rid of those sorrows, man. And these, these people are hating it, man. They're like, it's like they're now they're only doing this cause to just to to nullify that pain, man. Says, nope. uh, oh, it, it's like in the uh, hey, they they're realizing that uh, cause it's this this um. This philosophy that this man pushed was was like a drink, man. It was like that that uh that that strong drink. They're realizing that this, this American dream and this this whole this bull. They're realizing it's all bullshit, man. They're realizing they have no rights. They have nothing to live for. No. This is all. And that's what you. And you're going back to what you said. That they're realizing they have no rights. That's why you're having all these Edomites uprising right now. That sedition is coming. You know, you're seeing it because you know, especially these Edomites. You know, you the the the, yep, the the ones that aren't um, uh, um, of the upper elite. You know, these lower class Edomites. They're mad because their businesses are shutting down. They're not making money. They're going into foreclosure now. Oh. They're, and then some of them, let's say if they are making money, they're just mad because their constitutional rights are being violated. God. And they don't like that. You know. It says, uh, verse 11, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. Yeah, and these people are, they're trying to find the truth. And it's right in front of them. The prophets of the Lord are speaking. But eventually, you know, that uh, Amos 8 and 11 is going to play out where that famine of the word is really going to hit where there's no, no one's going to, well, first off, pretty much all the, for the, if you look, you know, throughout the United States, almost all the camps are now just doing sit downs because they can't preach on the streets. But eventually, these sit downs are going to be, you know, over with. God. Because the internet's going to get shut off. Now, a lot of you people are going to try to find the prophets. Hey, the, 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 this brother Mario always brings it out. You people are going to go to the same spots where we, where, uh, where we were preaching, and that's going to be your de uh, death sentence. You're going to get caught up, you know, uh, 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 caught you, you, you're going to get caught off guard. You're gonna get, you know, smoked by some, you know, some bug out, or you're gonna get, you know, you know, uh, uh, detained by these martial law troops. Yeah, because that, that's like, bro, through the spirit, like that's gonna be a lot of these motherfuckers' missions. They're gonna think, well, if I could just get downtown somehow, and then they're gonna, then, they're, then it's gonna hit them like, okay, those guys were, they were, they were, they were right here, and you know, a green dot's gonna come out of nowhere. You know, they're just gonna see two of their homies drop, and then that green dot's gonna end up on their forehead. You know, that's how this, this shit's going to be terrible, man. God. Oh. <laughs> shit. You know, that the green dot, not the red one. Hell. Yeah. It says, uh, this is verse, uh, <laughs> this is verse 12. It says, in the city, I mean, let's, you know, yeah, okay, verse 12. It says, in the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. So, yeah, that destruction's coming, man. It's going to be all round about, man. You know these people, hey, because the scripture that we read, um, that uh, that second Ezra's man, these people are gonna be getting spoiled for that lack of bread, man. That's that's really all these people have left. At the end of the day, 
All these people could do is shit, eat, and sleep, man. And then when that food goes, that's it for them. He says, when the, when it, so like, uh, verse 13, it says, when thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall also be a shaking of an olive tree and the gleaning of the grapes when the vintage is done. And they, this, this is that, this is that, uh, and when they say when they're closing up the party, the, you know what I mean? The, the last call and all that. This is the last, this is the last call, man. Come on. Did you, uh, did you brothers have anything? Did you get that the city of confusion shall be broken down? Yeah, you want me to read it? Yeah, read it one more time. Come on, it's, um, uh, verse, yeah. verse, this is back in, uh, verse 10. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up. Yeah, the, the city of confusion is, uh, broke, is being broken down. All right? Hey, the, the the doors are being shut. Yeah. You know, start. You know, you know, with the storefronts being closed, and then even these people, they're they're getting locked up in their own house. They're prisoners in their home home home. And it's only gonna get worse. This stuff is only gonna get worse. It's not gonna get better. Okay. Eventually, they're gonna just. Man, all these homes are gonna be you know boarded up. These people are gonna be carted to you know concentration camps, and then that's their new home. Huh. This stuff is over with, man. Instead of a Nissan, they're gonna see a tank driving down the street. Yeah, that's gonna be the new norm. Huh. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that was it on that one. Uh, let me see. You got anything else, Akim? Uh, something you want me to get? Um, that hey, Akim, just keep watching, praying. Yeah, hey, and, um, stay, just stay prudent, stay holy. Hey, with that, give all praises, it's like all praises, honor, and glory too. Yeah, how will Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakodash? Double honesty, apostles and elders agree. Millstone, salutation to you, brothers, pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Ba, ba, ba.